I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. I am putting my quad back together uh, because I've just installed the Runcam Racer 2 in it. The Racer 2 is the second generation of the Runcam Racer, and I've got a review of the Runcam Racer on my channel. I'll link it in the video description, but that's not what we're here for. When I put the Runcam Racer 2 into my quad, camera control stopped working. Camera control is the thing that lets you adjust the camera settings, the camera menus, using your transmitter sticks. It is a super awesome feature. And the Runcam Racer, here's the original Runcam Racer, was one of the first cameras to come with Runcam's serial interface. You can see that says TX and RX. In other words, you don't you don't plug one of these joysticks into it. No, that doesn't work. That's analog. You hook it up to a UART on your flight controller. And that's nice because Betaflight's camera control, Cam-C, Betaflight's camera control feature is pretty unreliable. Whether it will, it's not Betaflight's fault. Betaflight's trying, just trying to do something that's very hard to do and it's amazing it works at all. But for many people, it doesn't work. So this is awesome. But here's the problem with the racer. What if I'm just like sitting here on the bench and I just need to plug in my joystick real quick? You know, what if I have a fixed wing and I don't use a flight controller? Well, you're screwed. You can't adjust this camera. But Runcam has got you covered. And that's a super cool feature that they're adding in the Racer 2 and also other future cameras coming out. In fact, I just assume that's going to be the default for uh, Runcam cameras going forward. The Racer 2 has, look at the label there, it's either analog or digital control. You can do either, but there's a catch. The camera comes from the factory set up for analog control. So let's get a joystick. Hang on here. I'm going to get this. If you don't have one of these, you should get it. It's super useful for troubleshooting and working with cameras on the bench. It's an, an adapter from Runcam that lets you just plug any old battery into your camera and plugs in like this and yes there's a link in the video description of course there is so now I'm just gonna take that plug it into the camera I'm gonna plug this into my screen and I'm gonna need a battery I've got a handy dandy fat shark battery here it'll plug in it'll plug into that plug and and now the cameras turn on hello there now you can see me <laughs> um, but so then we try to plug in this little joystick adapter and sure enough it works just like always but there's a catch if you're trying to use this with the digital setting it doesn't work and the reason for that is that this camera doesn't auto detect it comes set for the joystick by default but you need to manually change it over if you're going to use it with your flight controller and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these wires and well, if, if you have a million spares like I do, then you can just snip it off. But what you need to do is you need to bridge these two together. You need to short circuit them. So, oh, perfect. Look what I have. Look what I found right here on my desk. So I'm just gonna take and strip this and I'm gonna twist them together and I'm gonna unplug the battery. I'm gonna plug in the twisted adapter so that those two pins are shorted and I'm going to plug in the power and you see when it powers up it says UART control here in the upper left that's telling you that it will now be controllable by your UART if you need to go back the other direction you'll need to switch it again by just bridging these pins and if you power it up and it says joystick control that means it can be controlled by one of these little joysticks. Well, folks, as long as we're here, I'm going to show you the rest of the steps that are necessary to getting camera control working with this camera. Uh, you're going to wire the TX and the RX wire from this pin header to any spare UART on your flight controller. RX, uh, TX on the camera goes to RX on the flight controller. RX on the camera goes to TX on the flight controller. Then you're going to go to your Betaflight Ports tab. And in the Ports tab, for the UART that you used, you're going to enable the Runcam peripheral. And that's all you got to do. Then, I'm going to plug my quad in. Now, my video transmitter is not on yet. And the reason for that is that I've used the Tiny Sled's uh, Real Pit board to allow me to switch my video transmitter on and off with a switch on my transmitter. What? And if you want to know how to do that, there's a link in the video description to the video showing you how I set that up. So cool. 
Then, to enter camera control mode, you're going to center your throttle and you're going to yaw right. You're going to hear a beep like that if you have a, a beeper, and you're going to see remote mode on top of the screen. That means you're now in remote mode. Then, the, the pitch and roll axis are the up and down on the little joystick. See this thing here? Up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. And then how do you click the center button? You yaw right. So in order to open the menu, I'm going to yaw right, and here we are. And I can just move through this menu just like it was a regular camera. I'm going to exit out of that and cancel. There's one more thing to say, and that is there's a, there's two menus on these run cams now. One of them you get to by just clicking the button one time. That's yaw right. The other you get to by holding up for two seconds and that's this bonus menu which has additional stuff if you've wondered how to change how to, well frankly if you wondered how to turn off the OSD like the voltage readout because you're not using it because you have Betaflight OSD because of course you do yeah that's where you turn that stuff off so there you go then when you're all done you're going to yaw left to leave remote mode before you fly that's it that is how to use camera control mode with this camera and any others any others it's the same process so, if you've just purchased a Run Cam Racer 2 and you're wondering why your UART control isn't working, that's why. You just need to switch the camera over to from joystick mode to regular mode. It would be better if it auto-detected. I, I kind of, when I heard about this feature, I thought it auto-detected. And maybe someday that's something Run Cam will make happen. But as for today, you've got to switch it manually. And at least we have the option. Thank you so much. I complained about this when I first saw the, uh, the, the it, was, it was first in the Micro Swift V3 was the first camera that had this serial interface in it. And I was like, that's great, Run Cam, but you kind of screwed us if, we're, you, if we don't have a flight controller. And now they've made a solution. So thank you to RunCam for that. And thank you guys for watching. Links to all this stuff is down in the video description. And in case you forgot, this is my full-time job. And using those affiliate links is one of the ways you can help support me and help keep me doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.